Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to City Skylines, where we don't have a cattery. It's a shame, we don't have anywhere to put our ocelots. Actually, no, that's a lie. We do have a zoo. Um, I don't know what's in the zoo. It's operating normally, it's costing me a lot of money. I mean, if this previous version, well, the SimCity things, always told you how many llamas you had. Um, you can hear from the side effects. Various ungulate noises. Let's have a closer look. I think that's... We've got a polar bear. Let's look at a lizard house. There's an aviary of some sort. Oh, wolves. Penguins. I see penguins. I see penguins in the dark. That's a wolf sign. Whoever put that tree in front of that sign didn't know what they were doing, so I have no idea what that building actually is. And ice cream. Ice cream. And there's, a, there's an aquarium. So... There are, I don't quite know what's making the ungulating noise there, but we do, well, we don't have a cattery. We do at least have a zoo. We have a menagerie in our menagerie. Yes, that's the menagerie, and that's the menagerie in the menagerie. It also has a, a garden as well. So, public transport. We've got our new mitochondria projects. We need to link this up. So, let's start by putting a bus route that goes around the edge. in this direction and then we'll put a bus route that goes around the edge in the other direction because this is long enough a distance that it's actually going to be worth our while having a dedicated route that goes around these two because you remember, these are important this is a important commercial area one of the reason we built this edge is to fill our commercial demand so we need to make sure we've done that so let us go to the list and bus line that becomes mitre clockwise. And spell it right, Jane. And mama set. And mitre widdishins. Widdishons. Widdishins. I'm going to make you purple. Alright. So you go around the edges. Now we need ones that connect up the centre. So. Wrong side of the road. Alright, so you're going around that way. Alright, so we'll stop there, there, alright, so that is too close to the junction, that's why. So come into here, come back up, go to there, go to there, go to there, come back up. So basically what I'm doing is having this route essentially come up and down the spokes. I'll just stop there. Ooh, that's a nice one because we have it come along that side. So go there, there, come round and down here. Stop there, stop there, stop there, there, here. Once, twice, three times a bus route. There we go, and that connects up all of that. Now that'll probably end up with quite a few buses on it. And you are... Nope, got the wrong one. You are... Mitre... Wait a minute. Widdishins, clockwise. And internal. I'm going to make you... Green. Right, there's our set of bus routes. Now we need to start talking about Metro. So, we've already got a line that dances across and connects up over here, so I'm probably going to put some kind of primitive loop in. So, we do want some kind of interchange station. Um, I think we can probably actually get away with two. So, what we'll do is we'll start with deleting that section of track, and we will put a pair of 
four way cross platforms in. So, one there, and one there. Now we want just a normal one up the top. So loops comes round, and we'll have it come in a fair chunk. So put you there, here, here, and put one really close to. Let's put one actually on the inside. One there. All right, let's lay that route out. So you connect up to there. Slope and distance too short. Let's trim that back a little bit more. Nice. Let's get that route in. That side there. And there. So this route connects up here and here. Done. All right, that's a route. Now we want our new route that goes around the edge. Comes there. Mark around if you please. Just keep adding on. I am going to flip you around. I'm not convinced that having you in that direction is going to be useful to my cause. Having you in that direction is more useful to my cause. My cause? My cause is the running of uh, transport networks. Very important cause. There we go. Cause. Well, I have I have pause, and my pause have cause. I have cause for pause. Important pause. Make sure we get all our stations. So we go around this way. So that's that loop. And then we'll have one going around the other way. Paws, claws, cores, other things that rhyme with this. Doors. Can't open doors with our paws because we've got claws. Unless we have cores. No, just rambling now. Jaws. Alright, yes, the, uh, I have been pointed out that jaws also works as well. Metro Line 8. Where is Metro Line 8? Metro line eight. Now oh, you connect the hippo up. Okay. Metro line eight. Hippo connections. I have to keep them all labelled and named so I know vaguely what they are. Metro line nine is one of the menagerie ones. Menagerie Z. Where are you? Now, oh, you're one of the ones I just put in. Metro line 16 shall be Mitre. Hmm. Let's just call it Mitre Left. And I will make you. A shade of red. Now where's the other one we put in? Ah, Metro Line 15. You are mitre right. Mitre doesn't make right, but this one goes right. I will make you a shade of paler blue. Nice. Alright, that's a fair amount of transport in. I'm pretty happy with that. The other thing we can do is grab this button, that button, Push this button a fair few times, as large as we can. Scroll along a little bit, and trees with leaves. Make it bigger again, apparently. 
trees. Trees, 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 trees. What are you? Oak. More trees with leaves. Trees with leaves is a generic one. It just adds a smattering of other things in. And let's add some oaks as well, just to make this district a little bit nicer. Oh, don't want to block the ends of the runway off. Discussed it previously when we were putting Eagle Skies in. You don't want too many trees on either side of your uh, planes. People tend to be a bit grumpy about having to dodge planes. So, that's done. Now, anyone paying attention will have noticed that there is one very important thing that I've missed. Is that while you can get the metro to mitochondria projects, what you can't do is drive there, um, which is going to be a bit of a problem for anyone who has a car. Um, and people moving in, for example, are going to find it really quite grumpy if they have to um, barp, if they have to do anything involving you know, cars moving, moving around, basically anything. So we should probably put some power lines in. You you always snap, don't you? Apparently I can't unsnap you. So I'll have to deal with getting rid of you later once the power situation has sorted itself out. And with our usual problem with just an array of power lines scattered across the district while we wait for people to move in. The thing is, you, in kind of normal building projects, in like real life and the rest of it, you would just go, well, I'm going to just build here, here, and here. And you build the actual buildings, and the people come later. So you don't necessarily have to worry too much about power problems, because you build the buildings, and the people come later. Whereas what we have to do here is we have to build large empty spaces, and then hope people like our large empty spaces, and they might want to come in. I was like, would you like my large empty space? I have a large empty space. Please look at my large empty space. I made effort to make it a pretty large empty space. Please... Look, I even gave it a silly name. How much I care. Right, power. Right, now, roads. We need to connect our frontage road to our highway in such a way that we're not going to screw up any of our existing highway connections. So, let's start with over here. We want a two-lane road. Can you get from here and up high enough, quickly enough? Yes, you can. And then I want you to come out to about there and stay like that. Now, highway connections. You're going that way and this way, alright? So you can quite easily come out from there and join the end of that. In turn, come out from there and join the end of that. Alright, that's that bit done. Now we need to get you off from the other side. Uh, Time to tunnel. He says, realizing that all right, that gets you there at least. Now we need to get you over here. That should be interesting. That should be interesting indeed. How do we get you to there? Without causing too much of a problem. Well, if I dump you up on that roundabout... Yeah, let's plug you in over there. So, departing... Let's cross this... Do I have 180 degrees? I can. There. Nice. And I will... Upgrade you to a double lane road because you've got two lanes of traffic. So, coming off there means you can go onto that roundabout and then sort off in various other directions. So, that roundabout links you onto that road and that road. So, that should help. I have, however, apparently cut my power line that I recently just notificated while I was laying. Done. Thank you. How is our power situation? Vast as our water. Couldn't do with more poop. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Right. It's one connection. I have a diverging diamond over here. That's the braid. I don't really want to screw around with that. That's going to go all the way up to here. Another junction here I don't really want to screw around with. 
Looks like we've got some space here though. So let's do that. Same as before, just pull a two lane road off from there. And then we will have the highway button. Out and out. Whoops, button of wrong. I'm going to push that. I want to come out from there, come around, and dive. That there. And I'll switch to the curved road. The other way, of course, is going to be interesting. No, we don't connect to that. Apparently, there is enough space for me to actually go under all of this, or at least some of it. Looks like we're going up. Looks like we're going up. Looks like we're going out and around quite a bit more than I was anticipating. Right about here-ish. There. All right, that's nice and messy. We will see how that performs. Um, I don't necessarily expect many much traffic to be using this as too much of a big junction, but I expect they'll be woefully inappropriate for what we want them to do later on. But we're just going to have to deal with that. And now I just want a little spoke. Bike of a road. Where is it? There you are. Straight line, if you please. Like that. And highway time. Now, I did say I wasn't necessarily looking at interrupting the braid too badly, but I'm not anticipating that we. Ooh, I've uh, accidentally residential all of this. Whoops. Zoned residential, you should be zoned industrial. Certainly, at least up to there, you should be. Let's grab that and take that off. All within there. All within here. Don't want any along there. Residency residential on that. Don't want any buildings along here because you'll just provide extra traffic that I don't want. You are simply for that connection. Don't want any people getting on and off along that road. That's a spare road for buildings that I no longer need. Goodbye. Spoke. Right. That's that in that side. Whoops. Whoops again. I keep thinking I'm on the um, freeform run and I keep going to do that click. There we go. It's a reasonably short little junction at least. Minimize perhaps some of the more confusion we'll get later. So that should be interesting. I wonder, can I adapt that or over here? So they both come in on the same side. 
think I will, actually. So I'm happy with that one and that one. Very silly idea, anyway. to go down before you can see. Okay, so the way I worked last time was I had both the inns coming out the same place, so you previously were coming off from there and going It's a straight line I've selected, that's fine. Hmm. Can I make that? Why was I not happy with that? I just wasn't happy with the shape of it. I'm just going to try and bring this one back just a little bit more. So I connect like that. Grade you to a two lane. Grade you to a two lane. And then we have our other road. Which is intending to link up over here. Have you just come out straight just to start with? Switch to a curve road. Pretty much do what we had originally intended. Okay, slight slope issue there. I love it when the game throws you those kind of curves. Mostly because of the terrain we've got underneath this is not what you would call favourable. I am kind of happy to just delete that section of highway just briefly. So let me get this in in a way I would consider not mental. Which does, as you would expect, put a right on right in the way. Alright, let's just carry on then. Just accept the fact that this bit of the road is going to be what we would technically call dirty. There we go. Slightly less of the dirt. Just a little bit more the traffic. Okay, so we're leaving. We go that way. Coming in, coming in. So I need to put the other exit road in. Like so. Right, okay. So that's slightly more tentacularly. This one 
So okay, this is going upgrading you and you. Grabbing that road. Going around like that. Grabbing you. Going around like that. We'll slow the traffic down a suitable amount. I wonder if we could perhaps not go straight there. Yes, like that. Nice. That makes that a shorter and simpler junction. Alright. We're in a position where we can unpause now. There go all the lights. All the parks and things turn on. Various police people on their way. Volley of upgrades going off in the background. Some houses appearing. Happiness ticking up. They like where they live. Ice cream! So we'll wait and see just how well these pseudo junctions do. Have I forgot to give you any water out here? I have indeed. Wow, that's a lot of trains clipping along by. The game is noticed beginning to run a lot slower than it was previously. I mean, if I put it on speed 1, and that's speed 3, can you tell the difference? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't anymore. So I have a load of buses coming out of our depot, heading on their way. Well, the other thing I did between sessions while I was letting the money accumulate is I reorganized the buses. So rather than having five routes serving Dimension Parks, there's now two, which means that the traffic in this area should be greatly relieved because the majority of the traffic was actually buses. So and also trimmed the bus route down off here as well. So we ended up, I think I removed four bus routes, maybe even five bus routes um, from here. Just to make that life a little bit easier. Yes, you can see our buses on the edge of this. So we do have some people moving in bit by bit. I mean, we did have a massive commercial demand. We've completely crashed it as we were expecting. And we have had some industry has moved in over here, which is good to see. And we've suddenly got a load of trucks and stuff coming off from here. Again, good to see people using this and going in here, which is what we wanted to see. Route going all the way around over to here. Yeah, I've seen a few trucks and things using that. That's what I wanted to see. Just improving the connections. Fronted road appears to be vaguely working. You could be train line around along here. So yeah, overall, I think... Animalia, if you look at it across here, is looking very pretty. So, I'm going to call that an episode. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we'll be looking at next time. We've got to, uh, really we need to let the game wind on a little bit and let mitochondria projects fill in. Um, because, well, until we actually get some more demand. We've completely filled it with residential, high density residential. So I'm hoping that when this fills in with people, it will fill in enough so that there'll be enough workers for our industrial projects. See, that's working. And they're immediately f filtering off. I don't necessarily know why they choose a particular one of the braids over any of the others. I suppose it's just their preference on which one they want, I suppose. Have you not got any power? Fine. So yes, um, obviously there's not much point in us expanding our industrial capability. Um, heading out and bringing Spider Industrial all the way along here. No idea what we're going to do with this whole area or this whole area. Everything else is pretty much full of people. And so far the city is not completely collapsing under its strain. We've not got what you would call a catastrophic traffic problem. So overall I am happy with how Animalia is growing. We've got space for quite a large district here, district there, probably going up over the hill, probably residential. don't necessarily know what I'm going to put in the beginnings of this did it. I don't know. It's quite a deep dip, so it's a shame I can't flood it, but there's no way I could get a canal. I probably could flood it. I probably could put a canal in there. Take a lot of work, because unfortunately I don't own 
that bit of the land that I would like want. Let's just check the terrain menu. As districts, there's a button on here, it's heights, yes. So that is below water level. And I do have access to water level over here. Interesting ideas. Let's just have a quick look. Canals. Deep canal. Yeah, I figured the slope would be too steep. Wow. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. So the water does flow in. I've also unconnected the power line again. So the water does flow in. Don't necessarily know. I mean, we've got a lot of water here, and the water doesn't um, seep in a canal. So I am kind of tempted to see if I can flood this. So I think we'll make that next episode. So I'll leave that in there as a reminder. So next episode is Operation Flooding. Um, because I can't, uh, if I flood this, I don't have to put any buildings in it. I don't have to think about what I might want to put in it. Alright, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines in the town of Animalia, where we've built a new district and decided on a plan of urban flooding. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment about how much water I'm wasting just by dumping it into here. Hell, if I'm feeling particularly vicious, I might arrange it to the point and then just start throwing the poop in there. I might do that. I do need somewhere to put my poop. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea to basically have some canal, have a canal in, and just fill this with poop water. Things for next time. Bye for now.